waterfall is an older methodology of working on products where first you would gather requirements and specs, then design would work on it, then development would work on it, and then you would ship it later. And it was very much a step-by-step -step process and there was less uh, flexibility and more rigidity around how you were working on that product than what you were building. Agile is a general methodology that contains a lot of different terms around trying to be more flexible while you're working on a product so that you can adapt to things that are changing with the product, feedback you get from users, or other things that are coming up in the industry or with your company. A user story is a small defined piece of functionality that's being worked on during a sprint by usually a group of developers and designers. A sprint is a set period of time, usually one, two, or three weeks, where a team of developers and designers and a product owner are working together on a set of user stories on a product. An epic is a larger, undefined user story, usually gets more refined and broken down into multiple user stories as a team gets closer to working on it. Sprint planning is an event that happens at the beginning of a sprint where the group of designers, developers, and product owners come together to figure out the user stories that will be worked on during that sprint and also the priority of which ones uh, should be worked on first. A backlog is a list of user stories that are not actively being worked on in the current sprint, but are usually prioritized in the order that new sprints should take when you work from week to week. Acceptance criteria uh, is a list of detailed information about a user story uh, to help define uh, when that user story is finished or if some parts of it may have been forgotten by the person who was working on it. Point poker is when the team working on that sprint takes the user stories that are likely to go in that sprint and estimate the difficulty. And so you use points instead of actual hours to give better, more realistic estimates. A persona is a example user of your application, of your product, and you come up with some of the goals or personality or characteristics or behavior of what that user might be to help you decide on user stories and what you're implementing. A product owner is either someone who is a user of your application or someone who is on your team that is uh, a stand-in for that user who can talk about like priorities of user stories, uh, what business value they add to the product, and can accept when a user story is finished or not. Velocity is a way to estimate how much work a team can get done. Instead of saying days or hours, it's based on the points tied to individual stories and it can lead to a more accurate way to estimate uh, the amount of time it takes. A sprint review uh, happens at the end of a sprint, the one, two, three weeks, where the product owner gets together with the people that were working actually on the product during the sprint, as well as maybe some stakeholders, uh, and the uh, user stories for that sprint are reviewed and make sure that they are accepted and pass all of the acceptance criteria. Uh, scrum, or sometimes referred to as stand-up, is usually just a morning activity where the team working in a sprint together uh, will talk about what they did yesterday, what they're doing today, and any blockers they currently have, and is a great time for people to discuss how they can help each other out get past those blockers. A retrospective is uh, at the end of a sprint where the team comes back together to just talk about how the last few weeks went, uh, what could be improved, what went wrong, and ideally get a couple of action items that they can then take to the next sprint to try to improve their process. 